Welcome back, everyone. So, I was a bit dumb yesterday, and uh, I wanted to start recording this video and get it edited by today, uh, but um, our newest uh, pet, uh, Pharaoh, um, kind of wanted to uh, go for a feeding, and uh, yeah, I I kind of lost all ability to use my right hand, and uh, yeah, but now we're here today. Anyway, we are going to be working on Project Glamour. So, what Project Glamour is, is what I'm calling how to make your character super cool and neat in Noita without having to use mods and stuff like that. So. We have this folder right here that I'll put in uh, in my Google Docs so that you can pull it up and work with it if you uh, want to use this or if um, it helps you uh, follow along or if you want to have the exact same stuff as me. So first we're going to open up our Noita folders. So the one that I want to open, we're going to hit Windows key R and then percent app data percent and then this one it goes to roaming so you want to go back one and go to local low and then you want to go to nola games noita and so this is where all your saves are so save zero zero is where all your save like all your save data is located and if you want to uh, open this one up. This is the run that I have going currently, but we're interested in this player.xml. So everything else in here is like uh, what keeps uh, your spells unlocked and what has all that good stuff in your world. And so we don't want to mess with that. We only want to mess with the player XML. So I use Notepad++. Uh, you can just open it up in uh, uh, notepad and see the exact same thing. Uh, it's a little bit more clean with uh, Notepad++, so that's why it'll look a little bit different if you open it up with just normal Notepad. So in here is everything to do with your character. So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, every perk you picked up, every spell you have, every wand in your inventory, every single thing is in here. For your player file uh, but we're mainly interested in verlet so we're gonna hit control F and we're gonna find verlet so what is verlet uh, this one is since there isn't anything else in here named verlet is the cape so these two are the cape colors right here uh, I do have a little cheat sheet open uh, that I like to use um, I have it on a different notepad for when I'm streaming, but if I was to swap them out with these two right here, this is, uh, I believe, uh, pink, and then this one is uh, white, or sorry, this one's white and this one's pink, I believe. One, one or the other. <laughs> uh, and then this one is black and hot pink. So I'm going to copy this one and we're going to swap it over here. And what does this do? Um, it changes the color of your cape uh, inside and then the um, outside. So if you want your cape to be a different color, that's what you change. This is just a hex code. So you can uh, find out what color you want and uh, put it in the hex code and swap it out. If you want it to just be an all black cape, you can just make these zero, 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 zero. I think you can just put one zero. You know what, we'll give it a test uh, and it'll make a uh, full, full solid black cape. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and, then, and then we can also edit our uh, uh, jetpack. So we're gonna control F again and type in jetpack. So with this one, I hit enter three times. One, two, three. So this one is where we're going to find the rocket particles or the particles that are emitted from our jetpack. So it, you most likely will not 
know these off of the top of your head. Uh, the only one that I do know is uh, material underscore rainbow, because uh, it's the best one. But if you wanted to find out what materials you have, you can uh, open this up. I do have it in, um, in the cheat folder, uh, all the materials, but you can make your jetpack anything. You, it, let's say uh, you wanted to make your uh, jetpack fire blue. Let's just copy this and then let's go in here and change this to fire blue. Boop. And then, so as long as this isn't a one, uh, this won't affect your game. Uh, well, most of the time. So with like blood and slime and stuff, it'll leave like a trail. It'll interact with the terrain, but it won't like actually interact with it. It'll stain the terrain, but it won't do anything else like that. If you turn this on, However, it will emit a real particle. So if you wanted to change this into like um, blood, it would emit blood when you use your jetpack. You can change it into acid. You'd emit acid. Um, what's uh, what's another good one? If you wanted to just uh, have like a really easy run and just explore and have your jetpack heal you, you can make it into lively concoction or something. Uh, magical liquid regeneration uh, as it's a uh, formally called <laughs> but that's that's something super neat that you can do as well and you can also increase how many it spawns how many like uh, particles it has like there's so many different options you have and this is the jetpack uh, the particle emit component this is the jetpack right here uh, so yeah and I, I won't go into any more um, stuff with that, but uh, also uh, for, let me find it real quick, for emit real particles and uh, create real particles, I believe they're the same. Um, I don't know what the entire difference is, but yeah, if you make one of these one, uh, they will emit real particles and actually interact with your game. There's our material rainbow. <laughs> All right, and what else do we have in this uh, player file that we can change up? So we're going to hop back into Project Glamour now. And uh, for before I get into like all, all this good stuff, um, let's say you wanted to find these uh, files normally, you're going to do a data whack unpack. So I'm gonna open this uh, file location since I have my uh, Steam folder in a, a weird place. But when you go to your uh, Steam folder, Steam apps, common, Noita, uh, you'll have a, a thing called Data Whack Unpack. So if you were to run this, we'll run it real quick. Uh, boop. It will unpack all the files in Noita and put it into uh, your uh, Nola Games data file. So you can see where everything is like what they use for materials, what they use for particles. There's so much stuff in here. You'll get lost, uh, so um, don't worry. We've all done it. But yeah, if, if you want to find the files, then that's how you do it. Uh, but since I already have the files, we don't need to do that. I just wanted to bring that up uh, in case you're curious on how to get all that stuff. So we're going to close this actually, and then we're gonna hop back in here. So I don't know anything about programming. I am just really good at deducting what's going on. And Nola has made a excellent system for changing stuff out and making it how you want it to be, which is so great. I am so happy that a game like allows me to do this like stuff. The, these files um, you'll have to change when you uh, download them or if you download them or you can find them in that data folder uh, that I showed you from the data pack unwhack. Wait, what? Data whack unpack. That's the correct name. Uh, but we're going to open up Rat Tail. So Rat Tail is a, um, a nice visual thing that you get in the game and you're, you're able to change what it's calling and what it looks like. 
So I know the pictures are very tiny, but if you were to open up like something like Photoshop, you can probably use uh, like Fire Alpaca or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. Uh, we're going to drag this in and this is our tail right now. So I haven't set these up to re or, uh, talk to this one, but we're going to do that real quick. So we're going to uh, bring this in real quick and I've already changed it up so it looks a little bit different than, uh, than what it normally does. But if you want to change this, uh, then it'll be whatever you change it into. Let's say we wanted to uh, make it uh, uh, a different a different color. So we're gonna do a color overlay and let's say we wanted to do like hot pink obviously. There we go. And then we're going to uh, save that and then we're able to close this and then this is now hot pink. But we need these files to re uh, look at the right place. So how do we do that? So what we do is we open up tail one and it's looking for this picture. This is where I normally keep my files, but we're going to need to uh, need for this to look in the right area. So we're going to click up here and we're going to copy this and then we're going to paste it up here. And boop. And then something that you probably noticed is there's a bunch of slashes, but most of them are going the wrong way. So let's change them all out and make sure that they're facing the right way. I'm gonna save that. And then we're just gonna copy this cause it's going to make it a lot easier to just copy and paste this than to uh, copy it and, uh, or sorry, to uh, keep doing uh, that exact thing. So we're opening this one up and then pasting it, save it, open this up, paste it, Save it, open this up. Ooh, this one, this one's different. This one is referring to uh, tail underscore one. So we want to make sure that it's asking for this one. And so what we're going to do is paste it right here. And then we're going to do some little backspace and there we go. Now it's referring to the right one. All right, and then we're gonna open this one. Same thing, boop, boop, and then we're gonna save it. And then last one, open this, same thing. You could probably just copy and paste it, but I've already had this one copied, so we're just gonna do it that way. Then we save it. And then you can close all of these. After you've edited all these files, we're going to hop back into Rat Tail, and then we're going to change the XML. So this one, is the head honcho, this is what pulls it all together. So we just need to change these uh, to be accordingly and look for the right files. So uh, we're going to change this out for the folder that it's in right now. All right, and then we're gonna save that. What changing all of this meant is if we go into the cheat sheet, we can use this code right here and give ourselves a rat tail. And it's going to be the one that we just made and the best place I think for it is right under your cape. Uh, so we typed in verlet and we are scrolling under right under this last slash entity. Uh, I hit enter twice and then I'm going to post it in this code and then we're going to save it. So let's see what we've done so far. So here's our character. We, we got our nice pink tail and uh, our cape and um, we can't forget our fire jetpack. So uh, yeah, we, we have this nice cool jetpack that shoots out real fire. So if you wanted to add a little spice to your run, maybe like have it be a little bit more magical, set you on fire, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's something extremely cool that you can do in this game and you can, you can do so much more. And Project Glamour, we will go over pretty much everything that I know as far as uh, player modifications and all that good stuff. So let's hop back out after we're, we're done burning this entire area. 
But yeah, let's hop back out and see what else we can do. I lied, I need to grab three extra lives to get our halo real quick. There we go. Now we have this cool little ring. But we're gonna change that too. And now is an important PSA to remember to always save and quit and to update your player file. So when I click in here, it's gonna ask me to update it. And this file has been modified by another program. Do you wanna reload it? Yes. And then it's going to reconfigure everything. It's going to make the tail into all this code right here and make sure it's functioning properly. So that's super cool. Uh, but now that we have the uh, three saving grace, we can uh, control find Halo. After we type in Halo, we can scroll down and then we can find what sparks it emits. Um, and if we hop into our little cheat sheet right here, we're going to change it to corrupted static because I like that one a lot. And it's a nice pink color, uh, very fitting. And then also, we can uh, go to this right here. So this is where the the file that I've changed the halo into, uh, and it is this right here. So this is what it's uh, asking for or where it's looking. And you can't really see it all that well when you open it into, or in a normal thing, but this little pixel art thing is uh, what it's going to call upon. It's going to give us this nice little creature that, um, if you're familiar with uh, Fantasy Star, uh, is a mag. So yeah, I think that's super neat. We're going to save that. And uh, do keep in mind, every time you close or save and quit Noita, this will update. and. If you're trying to work on this while you have Noita open, it won't work. You're gonna mess something up and it's not going to be pretty. So definitely make sure you save and quit before changing anything here or uh, user discretion. In this first episode, we're, we're going to finish off with the amulet. So as you saw, we already had an amulet, uh, but I, I kind of want to make my own amulet and uh, I'm also theorizing on how to use an amulet as robes. I know it sounds very weird, but hear me out. Uh, in next episode, I'll, I'll go over what problems you can face when you're changing your robe colors. So let's uh, hit Control F and type in amulet. And so player amulet is right here. So you can put this as a zero if you don't want your amulet or if you want an amulet and you don't have one, uh, just to have a little more bling. They can turn this one on, but it's looking for an XML file. So what we need to do is edit this XML because I carried it over from my other folder. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hop in here. See, it's referring to something else, but we want it to refer to this one right here. So let's copy or sorry, let's click up here, copy this. And then we're going to go right here. Voop and then we need to add some quotations and we also need to change these slashes to be the correct direction. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna save that. And then this one is pretty straightforward. You don't have to change anything else in it. This is all the animation uh, code, I assume. I, like I said, I'm not a programmer. I just can figure stuff out by deductive reasoning. Uh, but then we're going to pull this file up. And so same thing, I already had the, uh, the file location copied. So we're just going to click right over here. We're gonna control V, change this, boop. And then we're gonna change this, boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna save it. So that's pretty much the basics of like, player modification and I, I think it's really neat. You can change your character to be just about whatever you want it to be. And uh, if you know more about like sprite editing and whatnot in the second episode, you can uh, get into player modding and uh, without using mods themselves. So this, this was recently like, I the reason I do it this way is because I like to 
just be able to change my character on a whim and with mods there's some things in the game that you're not able to see and the fact that uh, when when Noita was still being updated constantly I wanted to make sure that if I messed up something in the files that I could remove it uh, but yeah that is the reason that I go through all this hassle so if we were to die right now in Noita this player file would be erased and uh, remade so something that I recommend if you don't want to go through this hassle again or if you want to have it as you're like starting is just copying this one and then pasting it right here and so every time you die you'll just swap out or delete this player file and then you'll put this one in its place uh, but make sure you make a duplicate of this one because then if you get rid of the copy then you won't have anything to replace it with but yeah, that's a, a very good way. And something else that I wanted to bring up, uh, since everyone has been uh, going into parallel worlds and um, going into like really, really like breaking the game, something that you can keep in mind as well. So a problem I ran into uh, during stream was uh, Noita would load up and it would crash and the reason for that was because I was in too many parallel worlds uh, My exposition was at 10,000 so or sorry a hundred thousand and It did not like loading that in so I just changed this to zero zero and I was in the original world so It's something you can keep in mind if you are having issues loading up uh, It's just a quick fix and yeah, it'll it'll make your life a lot easier or, um, like I've also suggested, is taking your player file and just putting it in a different uh, save folder where you have a new world, so you can have all the same perks and spells and stuff like that, uh, but you'll, you'll be in a different world. So it's something super cool. I'm definitely a fan of uh, the amount of creativity Nola has given to us, so yeah, definitely take, uh, take advantage of it. But for now, let's hop back in and uh, see see what we've done to our player. And now we have our beautiful looking mag uh, that that's gonna follow us around. And we have our amulet, which I did not consider the the pixel to be a problem, but now I can understand that it is a problem. Um, so uh, if you do get the 34. 34th orb unlock uh, then your amulet might behave a little bit differently uh, But yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how to fix that in the next video uh, For now. Yeah, you can see that the uh, blue on our amulet is there, but yeah Hopefully uh, you can have some fun making some cool creations and uh, just making your player look like you want it to have a wonderful evening, noon, and or night, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!